Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Wednesday Sports Page. We get started with high school basketball. One of the best things about early season out-of-conference matchups, especially those that involve powerhouse public and private school programs, is they play each other right now. And we had that here in Prince George's County right now. Let's get down to Upper Marlboro for the action last night. We were talking about Lou Wilson and Riverdale Baptist taking on for a power-wise private versus public. It doesn't get much better than this, and what a game this was. Terrence Gibbons inside. That's two and one. Here comes Riverdale Baptist right back the other way. This is Charles Creek with a little up and under and a little hook shot that falls for two. Riverdale Baptist again on the offense. This time Donovan totally from the corner. And that three-pointer is good. Riverdale Baptist would surge ahead. But here comes Wise right back the other way, pushing the action. And it's going to be number one, Sherwin Devonish in the corner. And he hits the three-point basket. And then again in transition, watch the play here by number zero, Jordan Hicks. Up, around, acrobatic, two points, Wise has the lead. Here comes Riverdale Baptist and a nice backdoor cut by Miles Anderson for two points. Wise coming right back with a great passing to Daniel Corley. Riverdale Baptist, missed shot and Wise clears. They're going the other way quickly, but no. David McCullough with a steal and he lays it up and in for two. And Riverdale Baptist gains the lead. They would not relinquish it. Here comes Totally to the basket, laying it up and in for two. Riverdale Baptist 59 to 52. To college basketball, the Terps took the court last night in an interesting out-of-conference matchup. They were hosting Division Three Catholic University. Let's get you up to College Park for the action in this one. There's Mark Turgeon looking for his team for a big win. Catholic looking to pull a monstrous upset. And here comes Catholic right out of the gate. Jay Howard, little crossover, and he hits the jump shot for two points. And then Catholic in transition. Isaiah Godwin's going to find Riley Hayes, and he lays that up and in for two points. And here comes Catholic again. And it's going to be Godwin's going to find Howard. And watch him make the little move here, go underneath and up and in. Catholic has the lead in the first half. The Terps finally wake up, and they are triggered by Anthony Cowan. He finds Bender, who finds Michael Tchaikovsky, and it slams it home for two points. Then in transition, Cowan, with his head up the whole time, finds Kevin Herter, and that's a three-point basket, and that is good. And the Terps start to come back in this one. They're expected for the blowout. Cowan finds Jared Nickens. Jared Nickens finds the bottom of the basket. That's a three-pointer. Maryland then has the lead, and then they would start to pour it on. Inside right here, Nickens with the friendly home roll for two points. And then one more time down the court, Cowan keeping his eyes up, kicks it out to Herter. That three-pointer is good, and Maryland comes from behind to beat Catholic 76 to 59. 